Welcome to NEP 20231. Objective of New Education Policy 20232. Principles of New Education Policy 3. Benefits of the New Education Policy 20234. New Education Policy 2023. Major Reforms 5. The 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 structure. What does it mean? 6. Significance of 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 structure. 7. New Education Policy 2023. Digital Inclusions 8. NEP 2023. Statewise Implementation 9. Effect of New Education Policy 2023 on Parents. UG on Higher Education Studies and Teaching in Mother Tongue. Objective of New Education Policy 2023. The National Education Policy's primary purpose is to raise the standard of education in India to a global level, allowing the country to emerge as a leader in knowledge-based sectors. This goal is reached by the National Education Policy's universalization of education. To that purpose, the government has enacted various revisions to the former education policy as part of the National Education Policy 2023, with the goal of improving education quality and enabling children to have a good education. Principles of New Education Policy Determine and nurture each child's potential. Increase children's reading and numeracy knowledge. Providing flexible learning opportunities. Spend money on public education. Improve education quality. Introduce children to Indian culture. Do excellent research, teach good governance, and empower children. Transparency in education policy. Emphasize the usage of technology and evaluate. Teach many languages. Improve your child's creativity and logical thinking. Benefits of the New Education Policy 2023 The following are the benefits and features of this policy. The former education policy has been replaced with the new National Education Policy, which was implemented by the Ministry of Education. The Ministry of Human Resources will now be known as the Ministry of Education. The National Education Policy will now make education universal, with the exception of medical and law studies. Formerly, the pattern of 10 plus 2 was followed. However, under the new education policy, the pattern of 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 will be adopted. There was once a science, commerce, and art stream. However, this will no longer be the case. Students can study accounting alongside physics or arts if they so desire. In 6 standard, computer languages will be taught to students. Every schools will be outfitted with digital technology. All forms of content will be translated into regional languages and virtual labs will be built. The NEP will cost 6% of GDP to execute. If desired, the learner would be able to study Sanskrit and other ancient Indian languages. Board exams will be held twice a year to relieve the student of the stress. Artificial intelligence software will also be utilized to facilitate learning. The MPhil degree from higher education is being phased out. The pupil will be taught three languages determined by the state. The National Council of Educational Research and Training will develop the National Curricular Framework for Schooling. Several institutions will be established to carry out the national education policy. Particular emphasis will be placed on the children's education and talents. New Education Policy 2023 Major Reforms The major reforms in education policy according to the NEP 2023 are listed below. There will be no discernible divide between the arts, sciences, academic, vocational, curricular, and extracurricular disciplines. Foundational reading and numeracy will be prioritized. The 10 plus 2 structure is replaced by a 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 model. No state language is imposed on students studying in any state. Students are permitted to take the board examinations twice. Instead of 1.7%, the government will spend 6% of the country's GDP on education. The fund for gender inclusion will be completely established. The government would go above and above to ensure that gifted youngsters receive a suitable education. The undergraduate courses will last four years. A four-year integrated B.Ed. course will be required to apply for the position of teacher. A common admission examination for admission to highs will be implemented. The Master of Philosophy program will be phased out of the educational system. In secondary school, Pupils will be able to choose from a variety of disciplines such as arts and crafts, vocational courses, and physical education. The PAREC, Performance Assessment, Review, and Analysis of Knowledge for Holistic Development, organization will define the standards for board examinations. The government will make Indian literature and other classical languages part of the educational curriculum. Instead of every academic year, 
Students' exams will be held only in classes 2nd, 5th, and 8th. The 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 structure. What does it mean? The replacement of the 10 plus 2 structure with the 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 structure is the most eye-catching alteration in the NEP 2023. For a long period, the 10 plus 2 has been used in our educational system. As a result, a total shift in that structure may be bewildering for the children. We will try to explain the meaning of the 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 structure and how it differs from the old 10 plus 2 structure below. The administration has divided student education into four segments under the new pedagogical and circular structure. Secondary, middle, preparatory, and foundational are the four sections. These four stages of schooling will be critical components of students' educational development throughout their school careers. The following is how these four stages of student education will be divided. The foundation stage is the first step of education for children. Students will be groomed for five years in this program. These five years will include three years of Anganwadi, pre-primary, Valvatica, as well as first and second grade. The preparing stage will be the second stage. This stage of education will also span three years. The third, fourth, and fifth grades will lay the groundwork for the intermediate and secondary phases. The third stage of education will be middle school. This is for students in grades 6th through 8th. These three years will prepare pupils for the ultimate part of their education, secondary school. The secondary stage will be the final part of students' schooling lives. Instead of two years, students will have four years from class 9th to class 12th to complete their secondary education. Significance of 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 structure. By the 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 structure, the government hopes to place a greater emphasis on pupils' cognitive growth. The government will flesh out the schooling phases of kids through this system for their advantage. In contrast to the 10 plus 2 framework, the 5 plus 3 plus 3 plus 4 structure will enhance students' foundations from the foundational to secondary stages. This new framework will also assist students in fully exercising their right to an education. Because the structure caters to children aged 3 to 18 rather than 6 to 14. As a result, the pupils will be helped from the start of their school life. Aside from that, this structure will be useful in significantly enhancing student retention rates. With the implementation of this framework, more students will remain at their respective institutions throughout their academic careers. In short, this new framework will benefit students in every way imaginable. Furthermore, a higher literacy rate under this system will only benefit our country's future. What is quality education? New Education Policy 2023, Digital Inclusions. Digital techniques of teaching have recently been a component of schooling due to technological advancements. Let us have a look at the digital techniques that the government will adopt to improve education through NEP 2023. The government will create a NETF, National Educational Technology Forum. This conference will aim to improve digital teaching methods in various schools by presenting new and innovative ideas. The government will establish a new organization that will work across the country to offer more resources for digital education. There will be technology integration to improve the many operations in the classroom. NEP 2023, Statewise Implementation. Let us take a look at all of the states that have implemented NEP since its inception. In 2021, Karnataka became the first state to issue an order pertaining to the implementation of NEP 2022. Madhya Pradesh later agreed to establish a new national education policy on August 26, 2021. Uttar Pradesh Chief Minister Yogi Adityanath has stated that the NEP will be implemented in stages throughout the state. The state of Goa plans to introduce the NEP in 2023. States including as Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Rajasthan, and Assam are also working to adopt the new NEP. Meghalaya's chief minister stated that the state will soon be the first to fully implement the new national education policy. Effect of New Education Policy 2023 Here are the effects of the New Education Policy 2023 on different concerned categories. On teachers The NEP will have an impact not only on pupils, but also on teachers and educational techniques. According to NEP 2023, a B.Ed. degree is required to work as a teacher in a school. The eye-catching aspect of this is that this B.Ed. course must be a four-year integrated course. Because of this strategy, only qualified teachers will be hired for schools, which will undoubtedly aid in shaping pupils' futures. On UG and higher education students, the NEP 2023 will also have an impact on students pursuing UG and higher education. 
According to the policy, a UG degree would last four years and will be multidisciplinary, holistic, and flexible. Furthermore, students will be given many opportunities to withdraw from the degree program. For example, students will receive a certificate upon completion of a one-year vocational or professional field course. They will receive a diploma after two years and a bachelor's degree after three years. The duration of PG courses shall be limited to one to two years. Moreover, the Master of Philosophy programs will no longer be available. The most ambitious decision in this program for college-level education is the phase-out of the college affiliation system over the next 15 years. Furthermore, a new authority will be established to oversee all higher education courses, with the exception of legal and medical courses. For teaching in mother tongue, one of the most significant changes in the NEP is that pupils will be able to study in their mother tongue or regional language until the fifth grade. Furthermore, the administration has stated that this ceiling can be raised to the eighth grade. Students will understand what professors are teaching them better if they study in their native tongue. This policy will also help pupils learn more about their native language. Please subscribe, Smarty Era.